Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to create a slideshow with music on Windows 11. This tutorial is super super simple because all you need is the Photos app installed on your Windows 11. So let's get started. Press the Windows button then simply type Photos and select the Photos app from the search results. Now as you can see the Photos app is a broad app because it does many things but we will focus on the video editor part. So in the upper tab of this app just select the video editor section. The next step is to click on the blue new video project button. And voila, now you have a user interface with which you will work for your slideshow. First of all you have to name your video. This should probably portray the purpose of your slide or your video or your project. In our case we will use landscape pictures so we will name this video landscape. Now you can just press on the blue OK button to start the project. And as you can see the interface is super super simple. You have three main elements. The first one on the left upper part is the project library. This is where you add the content and manage it. Then on the right side you have the preview screen. In here you will see the preview of your project. The way you arrange it, the way you modify it, the way you add effects, the way you add the music, etc. And on the lower side you have the storyboard section, which is like a timeline where you drop the content in a specific sequence to match or portray the story you want to show to people. So just let's start with adding some content. Press on the blue add button and afterwards you see you have three options. From this PC, from my collection and from the web. The purpose of these options is quite obvious, so let's say if you want to choose some pictures from the web, you can do a fast slide with pictures from the web. Otherwise, let's just move on to the PC option, so we will use some pictures from our own computer. Click on it and afterwards you will be directed to the pictures section. This is probably the default folder Windows will choose for your video editor section. In here I created a special folder called slides, so I will double click it and then I will simply add all these pictures by selecting them and then clicking on the open button. Now as you can see, we already have these pictures in the project library window. Now you have two options. You can choose to place these pictures in the storyboard without a specific sequence, so if you click place in the storyboard, you will see that the pictures are placed in the exact same sequence as in the project library. Otherwise you can press the key combination Ctrl plus Z and you can undo the movement. Now the second option is adding them in a specific sequence. Let's say I'll put the first picture from the project library in the first slide of the storyboard. Then I will put the third picture in the second slide of the storyboard. Then I'll put the fourth picture in the third one and then the second picture in the last storyboard. And now we already have a slideshow, we already have a sequence created. Let's say if we go from the beginning and press on play, you will see that the sequence already started. As you can see, the sequence can take a bit of time because there's a specific length for each slide. Now the length of each slide is portrayed by the number that appears in the lower left corner of each slide in this category. So if you want to change the length of the slide, just click this number and then you'll have an option that asks you, how long should this appear? You can choose 1 second, for example, for each slide if you want to make it shorter. You also have the option to customize this slide. So that means you can simply type it in this box. Let's say I will choose 10 seconds instead of any seconds that are previously portrayed in here. So now as you can see the slide is already shorter. It's 4 seconds in total because we have 4 slides. If we press play, you will see that it's going on quite fast. Let's just change this to 2 seconds each slide. Now let's move on to adding the music. You have two options. You can choose to add background music or you can choose to add some custom audio that's on your PC. If you click on background music, you have a few options that are already set in by default. So this is the music that comes from Windows 11. Otherwise you can also choose the custom audio option. So click on it and you will be taken to a new window. In here you can press on the blue add the audio file button and afterwards you can choose the specific song you want from your PC. In my case I already prepared one song. Now you can just press on the open button. As you can see a blue slide appeared on the timeline. In here you can choose to make the song shorter or longer. Or you can choose for the song to start later or to finish earlier than previously taught. Other than this if you go in the custom audio section on the right side and click on the speaker icon you'll see that you have the option to slide the volume to adjust it so it's not so loud and you even have the option to fade in or fade out. That means the song will start on a steady pace and not all of a sudden. Now we can press on done and afterwards we can press on done again. Now if we play the slide you'll see that music is added as well. And 
and as you can feel, the fade in and fade out is also present in the song. That's pretty much it with the video. If we wanna finish the video, you can press on finish video to export it. Now you can choose the video quality in the drop down menu, let's say we will choose the high one, but now let's say we will press on the export button. Now we just have to choose a location for the export file, let's say we will choose the desktop. Lastly just press on the export button. You will see that the export process will take as long as the video quality is involved and also the length of the video, the number of slides and many other factors. But in our case the export doesn't take too long because we only have 4 slides. And let's see how it looks. And that's it! This was super super simple. Now you have a video or a slideshow with music on it. That was it. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!